Humans are a fundamentally flawed species. The foundational flaws that affect us all is that we make assumptions, we are biased, and we have fixed mindset. These flaws have a dramatic impact not only on how we solve problems, but where we look for them. But there is a way out of this. Evolutionary computation solves these problems by iteratively creating incrementally better solutions from bad ones over time. Let's take a look at this in more detail. The evolutionary process starts in the real world that produces boundless streams of data. Not all this data is influential in our problem. So we need to identify that data which is causal. Using that data, we can create virtual models of the problem, otherwise known as digital twins. This twin acts as a surrogate through which we can find optimal solutions to our problems, that is, our prescriptive solutions. These prescriptions then are applied back to the real world. Here's an example. Consider a salmon fishing operation that is interested in producing really super fat salmon in the shortest amount of time with the least amount of resources. From the causal data, digital twin salmons are created from which prescriptive feeding programs are evolved and tested against them. This process repeats itself until the desired real world outcome is achieved. There's a simpler way to look at this. Start with the what, which leads to causally predicting the why. Then the how is achieved through evolutionary prescriptions. In our example, the salmon farms are what, the fat salmon are the why, the prescriptions are the how we evolve and test our digital salmon. Why is evolutionary computing so important? Let's start by looking at traditional programs designed to achieve desired outcomes, that is value. These are based on feed-forward systems, which typically produce linear results. Evolutionary systems are based on feedback systems, which prescribe and implement changes in the real world. Once completed, new real-world data is recollected to build a next-generation digital twin. This produces non-linear results or exponential value. This amazing difference between the new non-linear and old linear responses come from true digital transformation. Using a new example, let's go a bit deeper into the two models, starting with the surrogate. In this example, we will create new prescriptive tests for application development each test characterized by its type and variation. Against each test characteristic, we have a set of historical application descriptions from which we know the development cost, speed, and quality. We'll use this causal data to create a fully meshed deep neural network, our surrogate. For the prescriptive model, our goal is to create an optimal test description based on application data. To do this, we use evolutionary techniques to create and evolve deep neural networks using the cost, speed, and quality predictions of the surrogate model. The evolutionary lifecycle creates surrogate models out of real-world data that predicts the fitness of those models. This is then used to make evolutionary decisions in creating the predictive solution. This is our feedback cycle. Evolutionary computing is pretty powerful. It discovers and creates solutions using less data than traditional deep neural networks and aggressively adapts to changing business needs. This is Dr. Jerry talking about evolutionary computation, surrogate modeling, and digital twins.